Yo, what's good everyone? It's the round name 951. I'm here bringing you another Supreme Pickup video, sort of. So, um, I believe it was... Oh, well, basically during the Sasquatch, um, Fabrics and Supreme Collab week, um, they dropped some, you know, some items. Um, I was primarily trying to go after that S logo hoodie 3M, um, but I was trying to get Dusty Purple and my uh, phone kind of lagged on, lagged on me so I couldn't get crap. All I got, I think, was... Actually, I don't think I got anything. I, I ended up getting this app that helps me, you know, look up restocks, and I got a couple items that way. And one of those items was the, the folding fan. And it's funny because, uh, I think on Monday, it was the other Monday, yeah, it was Monday, uh, Supreme sent a message saying, oh, due to manufacturer error or something, or defects, that they're not going to be able to send it out to, like, next month, March 20th, April... May or May 26th, I mean, yeah, April, May. So, yeah, so they weren't going to be able to ship it out to next month. They're like, if you want to cancel your order, you can do that, or just not. So then I didn't do anything. And then yesterday, I got sent an email after I ordered the Supreme Motion logo. It was like a couple hours later, and they're saying, Oh, your order has been canceled. And I was like, Oh, what the hell? So, like, I started tripping out because yesterday I was able to get uh, uh, the Motion logo t shirt in um, blue, size large for my friend. Cause I really didn't feel like picking up anything. Like I wasn't like in the urgency to like get anything yesterday, but I did get a couple items. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, so um, I got I guess an email I'm like, holy, your uh, your order has been canceled. I'm like shit, did they like cancel the motion logo or what? Cause a lot of people have had problems after after they got the motion logo. It it's like they didn't get it. But um, yeah, um, so. They ended up canceling my fan, which is cool, cause uh, like it's one of those novelty items, more of like a collector item than you're actually gonna use, in my opinion. So I got my thirty six bucks back, and um yeah, so let's get to this right here. So you can see, you got a big old bag covering what I got. I was just talking about those S logo hoodies in three M, and uh, that's what I got. Now I didn't get this straight from Supreme. Um, I actually got off of eBay. So the person who who bought this, they got for one fifty eight because they don't you know they don't get taxed wherever they live in the states. <coughs> but um, uh, yeah, my little my little uh, restock apps just told me that you know they keep restocking that gold bar pendant, but that thing's like three hundred, almost four hundred bucks. So hell no. Anyway, so yeah, so um, I ended up buying this off somebody off eBay. Um, the price wasn't like. It wasn't like crazy, so I I was pretty comfortable paying. I paid I think it was two hundred bucks basically, like two o two fifty six, so like two hundred bucks, and you know you figure for me. I live in California, so basically, uh, instead of being one fifty eight, you know, add like another ten bucks because you know taxes over here like nine percent, almost ten percent. So, you know, you add, let's say let's add on twelve bucks. That'd be like 170 right there. So you know, I ended up paying like 30 bucks more than I would have. Um, I, I think a lot of people were saying that the the S logo hoodies were sitting in the stores. I, I don't know how true that was, but um, I was kind of I was kind of like bummed out because I really wanted the the dusty purple. I thought that was like the nicest colorway or one of the cleaner ones. It's different, you know. And I'm tired. I, I like black since it goes with almost everything, but you know, it gets tiring just getting the same color. So that's what happened. I got in black XL. You can see this big old bag. And uh, these are the stickers they sent with it. I'm not sure if these are the stickers that came with in the order. Most likely, because you know, Supreme has been kind of stingy with their stickers. They just like really don't give a fuck. See here, got the little um, 3M reflectiveness to it. Pretty cool. Now you can see how damn small that thing is. Like this is an XL, and like I, I wish they would make them a little bit bigger. But you know, it looks like it's like the same size it would be on the damn. Um, on the damn hat. Now, I think a lot of a reason a lot of people didn't get this like hoodie is because like they felt like it was like lower quality as far as far as the S logo that's there, and it, it kind of like to be honest, kind of like is I want to say. I'll show you right now. Let me take a flash real quick. All right, so let's check it out. So here it is. It's kind of it's kind of like ghetto. I'm not sure. We'll see how it is when I take it out, but. Basically, it looks like it's like some some foam, and then they like cut out like you know the S logo, S logo, kind of like cut it to where it's like an S. And that's how it came out. 
So it's not embroidered. You know, I, I think the embroidered ones are they're really nice. And I mean the embroidered ones are like a lot nicer than these, but um, still cool. So I'm gonna take it out of its dust bag real quick. Give me a second here. Okay, so let's just see how big this monster is. So fold it out. You gotta love the freaking folding like technique. It's just on point all the time. Take out the hoodie. You can see you got Supreme on the hoodie. Pretty dope. Oh, and that's how they fold theirs. They fold theirs like that. They go like that. Okay. Learning something new every day. Yeah, cause I, I've been like trying to put some of my um, jackets away. Cause I have them all in my damn closet right now. It's too damn hot over here in California to be wearing any sweaters or jackets really. So uh, it's kind of like not pointless, but kind of not the smartest thing to be copying jackets right now for spring summer. You know, best thing to do is just try to get some nice shirts. But um, I, like there was there really hasn't been any nice shirts honestly. Uh, fuck, what did I get? Try and get that polo for this week, man. That polo so clean. It's for, uh, for this Alley Warhol week. It's Supreme Polo. It's like 88 bucks, but so clean. So you can see, here's the drawstrings. Raves. Let's check out the tags real quick. Got the size extra large. Made in Canada. I'm just kidding, Canada. Made in Canada. Uh, usually it says like 100 Oh, <clears throat> it says it down here. See, so you got your little cream right here. Kind of cute. And here it tells you like the material and how you can wash it. I'm not sure how you would wash it with the S logo since like, I'm not sure if it's like machine washable durable as far as the S logo patch. So you see 100% cotton. Machine wash cold, do not bleach, tumble dry, do not iron. Made in Canada. Let's see. Damn it. Check it out. All that good stuff. Then you turn to the back. Oh, that shit is not working. <clears throat> yeah, basically it just says it like I think in Japanese or Chinese or something. Probably Japanese, I would say. Since, you know, Supreme Japan, not Supreme China. Yeah. So, I mean, overall... Let me get some more light because like the lightning is really bad in here. Usually, I usually do the little videos in my room, but yeah, not much better. See, it's a pretty nice jacket. It's really big, you know, because I'm freaking big. But um, XL, um, you know, it's a, it's not like super heavy weight, but you know, it's got some, definitely got some um, weight to it. Let's see here. So, you know, it's like, it's not like, it's because the thing is with the spring, summer, and then the fall, winter hoodies, you know, this is like a, a lighter weight, um, what was it called, because during the fall, the fall, winter, they have the heavy weight cotton grain or something, so this is like a lighter version of it, pretty nice, and uh, I'll flip it to the back real quick so you guys can see how it looks, so just basic. A really basic hoodie, you know, um, really, really subtle. So, you know, it would have been a really, really nice if it would have been the, um, you know, a, an embroidered patch. But um, we could be sure to be seeing that during the fall, winter drops when they do it for the for these S logos again. Because, I mean, the embroidered is like the only way to go, honestly. I mean, unless they do like some other cool kind of thing. Um, I would say the only way to go is embroidered, embroidered S logo. Uh, I think the same was felt for the 3M caps this year S logos. Um, they didn't really sit at all. They were like they, they were like sold out really quick, especially pink. But um, I think for the hats it's okay, but for the something like the sweater, eh, it, like when you look close at it, you can see it's pretty good, pretty on point. You can't really see with the flash, but um, I, I wish they would like do a different material I'm, I'm really not feeling the 3m because the cut let me just try so all right so like i was saying this part of the the s is really good it's like the back the backing because there's two parts there's this white background and there's the 3m part no i don't know like it's it, it looks pretty clean but up close you can see like there's some little imperfections just the way it was cut so i mean like i said uh Embroidered S logo would have been way better, but just have to wait till fall winter for that one. 
and you know that one's going to sell out super quick and it's going to go for like an easy 250 I mean um, I guess the only cool thing about this one was like they had some nice colorways um, you know they, they had different colorways they had like lime green dusty purple the dark teal uh, I think that was it as far as like different colorways and they had like white um, navy black red and I think that was it yeah but overall pretty cool um, let's see I got some stuff for this week and I got some stuff off, off restocks or not restocks but supreme through restocks and then that I ordered all that crap already and I'll be doing like a little unboxing when I get that motion logo um, it's, it's not gonna be mine if I because <clears throat> to be honest I wasn't really feeling the motion logo like it's clean I guess but you know after a few washes uh, I feel like it's um it's a shirt that the, you know it's not gonna last very long I mean it'll last but as far as like the supreme you know um, it's called supreme little motion logo on it it's not gonna last long so I mean it was a damn good price you know 32 bucks I think 34 retail and then plus the shipping it'll cost you 40 and then you know plus the tax so it came out to 45 I think for me but yeah I was trying to think um what did I get so far I have some pretty cool items in hopefully they probably won't be in this week it says Friday uh, I hope they come in today but I highly doubt it. I'll probably be seeing most of my stuff I picked up from last week's through restock next week but, um, for this week what did I pick up um, for this Andy Warhol week oh um, I was able to get the the half zip up um, jacket and burgundy XL um, they've been restocking on that a lot but people just pick it up real quick they've been restocking on the black one of the black version a lot of the sleeveless um, baseball jerseys which they're good for spring and summer I'm not gonna lie but I just don't uh, I, something I wouldn't wear um, I, like I said I've been waiting for the polo to restock which they might might not just depends I should have got it in black when they restocked restocked an extra large but I really want burgundy or even light blue I mean all the all the colorways on that, on that polo are just so clean um, what else I think that's it so far for for me getting stuff this week um, yeah, uh, I, I doubt they're going to restock on that and that on the Warhol shirt. Um, it's not likely. Usually on their hype items, you know, they basically just throw them all out. Like for instance, this hoodie. On the first day when it dropped, they only restocked like a couple times after, like 15 minutes after it dropped, and that's it. They didn't restock the whole, the whole week until you know they, they didn't restock at all. Um, as far as the hoodies for this, uh, the pants they restocked like I would say two or three times. That was it. Um, yeah. Um, so I, I highly doubt that you're going to see a restock on the Warhol Ali shirt or hoodie. The motion logos, highly doubt it. Um, a Betty Boop. I I want to say they actually restocked yesterday, but like it was like in size medium or large, I, I think. Um, it's hard to say. Usually, like on Supreme's own items that they have, like it's made by them and not like like through a collab well that's kind of a lie because they did a lot of restocks on the sasquatch fabric stuff it just depends on supreme what they want to do yeah guys i hope you liked that long video um let me know what you guys want to see like i said i got some more spring coming and you know just stuff here and there but yeah i hope you guys liked and until next time guys peace